this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play those games on your Android device. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have your DOS game downloaded. I put the files of the game that I want to play in my downloads folder. If the DOS file that you downloaded is in a zipped format, make sure that you extract it first. Another thing that you want to make sure of is that the name of the DOS folder that contains your game is 8 characters or less and you want to make sure that it only contains Latin alphabet characters. I would also recommend that you download a DOS game that comes in a pre-installed version instead of a version that has a ROM file or a version that requires you to install the game. So just to make sure that you have the correct files, you can open the folder and what you're looking for is a .exe file of the game that you're trying to play and we're going to be loading this file within the emulator to play the game. Once you have your DOS files ready, you want to open up the Google Play Store and you want to search for our emulator and the emulator that we're going to be using in this video is called Magic DOS Box Lite. Now there is a paid version of this emulator However, if you're just a regular gamer, the free version will work just fine to allow you to play the game. So just click on the apps page and click on install. Once it's finished installing, launch the emulator. They're going to ask you to access files on your device. Click on allow and over here you want to click on the next button. In the next page, you can click on private and then click on continue again. Select whichever theme that you want and then click on next and then click on the green check mark. You can read through these tutorials but for this video I'm just going to close this dialog box and then I'm going to click on the plus sign. Over here select new game. They're going to ask you to give your game a title so just write the title of whichever game that you downloaded. And then you want to scroll all the way down until you see the software section. Now the software section is separated between main program and setup. If you remember at the beginning of the tutorial, I recommended that you download a pre-installed version. So if you did that, then you can use the main program option. However, if you have a setup of the DOS game that you're trying to play, then you want to select setup here instead. Now, depending on which of the two options you're using, you want to select choose and over here, you want to navigate to the directory of where you downloaded the files for your DOS games. Select the parent folder of the game and over here, you want to choose your .exe file. Now, if you go back to your home screen, you're going to see that there's a new shortcut for the game that you just added. So you just want to tap on your game. And as you can see, if you did everything correctly and you have the correct version of the game, it's going to automatically launch and you can begin playing the game using the icons on your keyboard. So that's it for this video guys, I really hope you found it helpful, if you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as well for more content like this. If you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you out and I'll see you all next time.